Although the hunt ends here, it begins with an award-winning gorilla tree stand. Hey friends, isn't this your favorite time of the year? It's mine too. It's early fall, the leaves are in full color, and if you're a serious deer hunter, you should be just as serious about tree stand safety. I encourage you to make sure that you clearly understand and read all the instructions that come with your gorilla tree stand. And as you watch this video, make sure that you have absolute clarity on all the safety points offered in the NBEF tree stand safety video. Throughout that video and, and during the time that you're reading the instructions, if you have any questions on the tree stands or your safety belts, give us a call at Gorilla. Gorilla tree stands come with everything you need for a safe and successful hunt. You'll find your TMA tested and approved tree stand along with a bag that contains your operating instructions. Tree stand safety is your responsibility. At Gorilla, we take safety seriously and remind that you must read, fully understand, and follow the provided instructions to minimize your risk of falling. For your personal safety, Gorilla suggests that you purchase and use a full body harness. If you're confused or fail to completely understand any of the written or video presented instructions, call us at 1-877-685-7817 for help before using Gorilla tree stands or accessories. It's Gorilla's job to inform you of the proper use and warn you of the hazards and risks associated with hunting off the ground. It's your job to put this information into practice. You'll notice that the provided V bracket must be installed prior to use. This is a two minute job and Gorilla has provided you with a wrench to tighten the bolt. This bracket is very important to the operation of the camming action of the stand. So take your time and secure it in place as shown. Be sure to assemble the bracket with the nut on the inside of the V. Tighten it until it's snug. Gorilla has designed a removable seat with all of their stands. You'll need to sleeve it into the seat platform and clip the attachment buckles into place. Once your stand is assembled, we insist that you practice hanging it at ground level that's a few inches above the ground prior to using it in the field. Snug up the belt by snapping it and then cam the tree stand into place twice and pull it down once as you set the stand. Repeat if necessary. This assures a rock solid fit. Notice how the camming action tightens the attachment belt. This engineered feature is what makes the Gorilla platform so solid and secure to stand on. And at this point, walk around on the platform to silence the powder coat finish. You'll hear a few clicks as the finish flexes into place. After this initial procedure, the platform will be seriously quiet. Hey friends, I'm going to give you the most important tip of this entire video. The fundamental principle of maintaining safety when you're ascending and descending from a tree stand is maintaining contact with the tree and using your lineman safety belt before you ever leave the ground. This way, you're in contact all the way up, and after the end of your hunt, all the way back down. Not only will your hunt be successful, it'll also be safe. Hey friends, have you ever had somebody in deer camp that has found a big buck that lives way back in the swamp? He's gotta get in there right where he sleeps, right where he lives. Well, I'd strongly recommend you consider the Silverback Series by Gorilla. The Silverback Series is the only tree stand that uses core reinforced aircraft aluminum and that's how the Gorilla Company gets lightweight built into their tree stands. When I say lightweight, I'm talking about 10 pounds of weight like this Silverback Light right here. The Silverback Light has an 18 by 24 inch platform so it has lots of room, again, but it's only 10 pounds so if you've got to get to the back of the swamp or to the top of the ridge, this is the tree stand that you want to consider. It's complemented by the Silverback Light Hunter. And this is the tree stand that's my personal favorite because it has that very popular uh, removable padded uh, seat. It's got the dual density soft cell foam on the top and the hard cell foam on the bottom, which will keep you insulated from the cold for those long days on the tree stand. 
If you're looking for a tree stand that needs a little bit more room, you want to sit out there in the woods a little bit longer, then you might want to consider our medium-sized platform, the Silverback. The Silverback has a roomy 21 by 27 inch platform which gives you more than enough room to be comfortable on a stand all day. has all the same great gorilla features including the popular dual density removable seat. Inch and a half padded seat on the top, a half an inch hard cell foam on the bottom which will insulate you from the cold metal underneath. From the Silverback we go to the Silverback Magnum which is the Cadillac of the line. Let me show it to you next. Now everybody likes the Cadillac. And the Cadillac for the Silverback series of tree stands is the Silverback Magnum. The Silverback Magnum has an oversized seat featuring the popular deluxe air ride cushion. Remember, that's the air ride cushion that has the bladder inside that gives you that nice soft seat. It has a 720 square inch platform. That's 24 by 30 inches of room for you to shift your feet, shift your weight, and give you lots of room to turn if an animal or a deer moves on you and you have to reposition yourself on the stand. This huge platform is going to give you the luxury to turn on that animal when the moment counts. It has the backpack straps, it has the nylon washers inside and out, it has the claw strap, just like all of the Gorilla series, and it does this at a mere 14 pounds. And how do they do that? With the core reinforced aircraft grade aluminum construction. Silverback Magnum. The Silverback Deluxe has all the creature comforts that Gorilla has to offer, including light but strong core reinforced aluminum construction a roomy 21 by 27 inch platform, air ride seat with back cushion, a comfortable footrest, and optional universal gun rest. Gorilla recently won the Field and Stream Best of the Best Award for tree stand design. We think you'll like them too. You'll find that Gorilla's gun rest is a functional accessory that spells success in the whitetail woods. Look at the blend of engineering and hunting savvy that went into the Gorilla Universal Gun Rest. It has a smooth swivel design for steady aiming, 360 degree swiveling availability, and oversized knobs for easy height adjustment even with gloves on. Better yet, this Universal Gun Rest can be attached to most tree stands. This young Pennsylvania hunter put the silver back and gun rest to the test this past season. Carol goes right across here. We just saw him go through here a couple of minutes ago. Uh, it should be right down over this hill. He wants to go with you? Sure. Okay. Not only are gorilla stands effective in the whitetail woods, but also they're easy to hang. Let's join Paul Vicunas for a demonstration. Hey friends, wouldn't you appreciate a tree stand that hangs real easy after a long hike back into the deer woods? Let me take a quick second here and show you how easy it is to install a gorilla tree stand. I'm using climbing sticks in this situation here, so when I get to my last stick, I want to make sure that I leave at least one, perhaps two steps above the point where I'm going to step down onto my tree stand. That ensures an extra measure of safety. Let me show you how easy these gorilla tree stands install. I just reach around the tree, grab on my buckle, go underneath my climbing stick, like so, hook up the cinch claw to the bracket, keep the tension on it, a couple good snaps, push this tree stand down, you can action it into place, good and solid there. Now I'm ready to make my step over. 
So now I'm above my tree stand, I step over, and all the while I'm still fully connected with my lineman safety harness. That's a, a fast, effective, and safe way to install a gorilla tree stand. Like King Kong himself, this stand is full size and gorilla tough. This platform is fully usable and gives you 720 square inches of deck space. That's 24 by 30 inches. The dual density cushion is removable and will offer your tush the best seat in the house. The professionally welded steel construction means security for your hunt. Gorilla tree stands have passed the rigorous TMA testing requirements. And the welded steel mesh platform is non-slip, hush quiet, and always supports your feet in a level position. This is one of my favorite tree stands in our Gorilla line of tree stands. This is the Kong series. It's our medium-sized platform, so it's got a roomy 21 by 27 inch platform. That's enough room for even a lumberjack. It's got all the same great design features that you can depend on, including the cinch cloth strap that's rubber dipped, no metal to metal contact anywhere. You know friends, as the days get colder, this is a feature you're really going to appreciate in our Kong tree stand. This dual density removable seat cushion has got soft cell foam on the top for all day comfort, it's an inch and a half of padding, but on the bottom side you've got hard cell close cell foam and that's what's going to insulate you from the cold of the seat. I promise you, as the days grow colder, you'll welcome the Gorilla Tree Stand removable seat. Whitetail researchers have determined that mature bucks live a lifestyle that's cloaked in shadows. Once a buck reaches two and a half years old, his schedule is compressed toward darkness on both ends of the day. They also avoid disturbances and humans much more than young bucks. This means that they're often found further from the roads and in the thickest cover. In order to effectively and routinely encounter these mature bucks, you have to leave the crowds behind and head deeper into the dark haunts of the big ones. Here's Paul with a solution for you serious whitetailers. You know, a lot of my buddies like to hunt out of a smaller tree stand. This is our lightest tree stand in the Kong series. It's called the Baby Kong, in fact. It's got an 18 by 24 inch platform, which is still plenty of room for your size 13 hunting boots, but it's light, it's compact, and it gets you into those tight spots where uh, oftentimes big bucks tend to live. It's got the backpack straps, which makes it real convenient for you to get into those tight spaces and into that little secret bedding area where your big buck's waiting for you. We all like to have our hands free to carry our bow or rifle when we walk back into those thickets Paul talked about. That's why Gorilla provides factory installed backpacking straps with all of their stands. This next stand is a favorite scouting stand for those buck swamps. Hey, do you have any friends that have a piece of property that they need multiple stand locations, perhaps to play the wind on one side of a trailer or, or the other, or perhaps they don't get a lot of time to do a lot of advanced scouting? Well, what we find here in this baby Gorilla, it has all the same features as the Upline series does. It's pre-drilled to receive a footrest. It has the removable seat on here with a full one inch foam, co uh, foam padding on there to keep you nice and warm and dry, insulated from the cold. It's got the cinch cloth strap, no metal to metal contact, and with the backpack straps included. This is a perfect stand for someone that needs multiple locations. For those who want all the comfort available, there's the King Kong Deluxe. The bells and whistles on this stand aren't for looks, they'll make you more effective. The design team at Gorilla added a silent footrest that comes as standard equipment. Any experienced white tailor knows that one of the times that buck will catch you moving is when you stand to stretch your legs. This Gorilla footrest allows you to stretch your legs without frequently needing to stand. That reduces movement and that makes you more effective. They may be called tree stands, but Gorilla designers noticed that most hunters spend the majority of their time sitting, so they engineered a solution for your south side. This unique air ride seat is going to allow you to sit for hours in comfort. Here's Gorilla's inside story on all day comfort. The secrets in the three layer construction. First, you have one and a half inches of open cell comfort foam. Next, the one of a kind sealed air bladder with one half inch of support foam inside. And finally, a half inch of rigid closed cell foam that stops cold from penetrating and captures body heat. 
No need to buy advanced tickets for this seat. It comes standard on the King Kong Deluxe. Gorilla deer hunting engineers decided to include a padded backrest for three reasons you'll enjoy. First, for added comfort. Next, because serious whitetail hunters know that if your back rubs on the bark, the noise may alarm a nearby deer. And because keeping your back and kidneys warm will allow you to stay in the stand longer, giving you an edge. If you're serious about whitetails, we suggest you invest in the most functional hang-on stand in America, Gorilla's King Kong Deluxe. It will pay big dividends on your trophy wall. Research has shown that most tree stand accidents occur while putting up and taking down stands. In light of this fact, Gorilla engineered their stands easy to install and take down. They designed a dual claw attachment belt that now comes standard on all Gorilla hang-ons. This makes hanging a Gorilla safer because you can position the buckle so it's always on your side of the tree. No more reaching around to operate a buckle you can't see. You can expect innovations like the dual claw attachment hook from Gorilla. You know, the only thing that makes me madder than missing a big buck is missing my tree stand. We put a lot of work into hanging those tree stands. You can imagine a feature-packed tree stand like the Silverback Deluxe is just as attractive to a thief as it is to a serious hunter. So a little bit of advice, some cheap insurance is a cable lock available by Gorilla. Just take your cable lock system, go around your tree stand, and a little tip, I like to go through the tree, probably through the tree stand, makes it a little bit tougher for them to steal it. Just take the male part, put it into the female part, a little bit of a push, that's all, you, all the security you need to deter theft. Gorilla wants to remind you that not only do bucks get bigger with age, but also trees grow in circumference each year, some more than two inches per year. Never leave a tree stand or a climbing stick attached to a tree for more than two weeks. The growth in tree circumference can cause great stress on attachment buckles and cause the stand to fail when you add your weight. If you're looking for a system that will give you the ultimate in lightweight and portability if you're a running gun type of hunter, combine a Silverback Series tree stand with Gorilla's new ultralight climbing stick. It's a uh, three foot long stick that's uh, core reinforced aluminum, which only equates to two and a half pounds per stick. It has ambidextrous foot pegs, which gives you a left hand or a right hand foot platform, a very aggressive tread on here to ensure a non-slip surface for your boot, and then of course you have a cam action buckle that gives you that nice secure feeling we just cinch that up tight on the tree. Ultralight climbing sticks are engineered to lock into place when you tighten the cam buckle and apply downward pressure. You'll also notice that they're a great lightweight solution for those hot spots in the back 40. The All Steel Gorilla stacking stick reaches 12 feet high with three reinforced sleeving sections. Like the ultralight, it attaches with cam buckle attachment straps. Four foot extensions are available. Now once you're using a fixed position tree stand that's already been hung, the ultimate in safety is using a mountaineering rig using a Prusik knot. Very, very simple. Let me show you how it works. This is the Prusik knot here, which works very much in principle like a safety belt. It slides up with you when you climb, but should you have an accident and you fall down, it stops, just like your safety belt does in your car. So with the Prusik knot and a carabiner combination, you would just take the tether from your full body harness, connect the carabiner, and make sure that you lock it up like so. Now we're ready for the climb. Just take the Prusik knot and as you climb up, you just push it ahead of you and start your climb. All the while maintaining full contact with the tree. Now when I get to the top of the tree stand, I want to reconnect. I undo the lock on the carabiner. Reattach my safety rope, take my cam buckle which is right here, I go around the tree, up around face level, eye level that is, and reconnect back to my tether, and I'm locked in. Now you can disconnect from the Prusik knot, but you can see that all three pieces are maintained right here. 
There you go. And I got good tension on the tether. I'm ready to hunt. Gorilla offers three styles of screwing steps. Each have a tapered machine screw point for instant starts, and they each have a knurled or scored traction surface. This is the folding style. Then, there are two one-piece rod steps, the four and a half inch standard and the five and a half inch magnum. Gorilla offers the following safety guidelines for using screw-in steps in their instructions. Here's a review. Space steps at or less than knee height. Longer spacing may cause you to slip or lose your balance. Always make sure your steps are clean and not icy or wet. Always use a lineman style climbing system for security, like Gorilla's full body harness and climbing system when installing steps. Avoid thick barked or dead trees, and be sure that the steps are screwed all the way into the bed when installing. And never attempt to install a screw in step into a pre existing or used hole. The threads will not hold, and the step will easily pull out. When erecting a ladder stand, always use three people, two to hold and one to climb. First, attach the stabilizing bar. Then, one person climbs and attaches first their fall restraint, then the ratchet strap. Although this class of stand is the safest to use once it's set up, it can be dangerous to erect if you don't follow the instructions. Always use three people. Gorilla ladders come in two sizes, 12 foot and 15 foot. Be sure to use your fall restraint when using a ladder stand. Ladders are perfect for the hunter who wants to hunt from a stand, but may not be comfortable with a conventional climbing system. These stands are more effective than you may think. Gorilla manufactures a line of fall restraint devices that will make your hunt safer. Hey friends, when using a tree stand, the element of safety really relies on using the fall restraint system properly and correctly. Let me show you a couple pointers that I like to use when I use a full body harness, which is my safety belt of choice. This buckle here is called a carabiner. You want to make sure that at all times the carabiner thread is locked up into the closed position. Number two, when you're using the cam buckle, make sure that this dog leg, which is spring loaded, is always away from the tree. You never want this against the tree where it's going to leave this cam buckle open here which would allow it to become disconnected from any of your contact points. Make sure that that is closed and away from the tree. And probably the most important thing in terms of what actually holds you and attaches you to the harness is that when you're using the buckles make sure <clears throat> that you leave about six to eight inches of tether behind the teeth. That will allow the teeth enough material to grab once the belt is under load. Gorilla's full body harness and climbing system makes hanging stands easy and reduces fatigue. Never leave the ground without being connected to the tree. The lineman style belt just follows me on the way down. I'm back on the ground, safe. And in one piece. It's that simple. The Gorilla staff reminds you that if you fall from the platform when properly tethered, your fall restraint will arrest your fall, but you must immediately climb back onto the stand platform. The physical stress involved in hanging from any type of fall restraint can quickly cause unconsciousness, which can lead to death. Watch the NBEF Safe Tree Stand Hunting segment that follows for more vital instructions on fall restraint. For the rare few of you that are ready for a real challenge, we suggest that you scout out a hot spot and take a whitetail from the ground. That's how it was done in the old days. Even when you're eye to eye with a whitetail buck, you can score if you're comfortable and still. Gorilla's tree seat can give you the edge you need. If you were a buck, you'd have a tag on your antler. Here's Paul. Hey friends, have you ever thought about taking your hunting to a new level? I'm talking about ground level, and if you ever want to take up a challenge, bow or gun, shooting a white-tailed deer off the ground is a tough one, and that's a big challenge to overtake. Let me tell you about a little accessory that Gorilla has to offer. This is the, our Gorilla's new ground seat. It's got a cam action design on here where you would ratchet the, the seat into place. It's got two V-brackets for good, strong support. It's got a padded seat to keep you quiet, and if you did have to stand, 
it too has the nylon washers inside and out the bolt sleeves to keep you perfectly quiet. Here's a little tip though. Tall or short, it doesn't matter how tall you are, always put the, the seat at knee level and that way there it's always going to be at the perfect ground level to keep you still, quiet and comfortable for an all day sit. So if you're ready to take up the challenge and take your hunting to the new level, and remember, I mean ground level, don't forget the new Gorilla accessory, which is the tree seat. Gorilla would like to offer you a challenge. Walk up to a tree with your old tree stand and see if it takes you longer than 30 seconds to securely hang your stand. If it takes you longer than 30 seconds, there could be a gorilla in your future. Gorilla is committed to helping you have a safe and successful time of field tree stand hunting. If we can be of service to you, or if you have a question concerning our products, please call 1-877-685-7817. Now, stay tuned for the informative and exciting NBEF segment titled Safe Tree Stand Hunting. a fall restraint device from the moment you leave the ground to the moment you return to the ground is the single most important action you can take to prevent you from hitting the ground should you fall. The NBEF strongly recommends that the fall restraint system you choose to use is a full body harness that meets or exceeds industrial standards. The National Bowhunter Education Foundation suggests that you contact your favorite tree stand manufacturer to purchase a full body harness. Or you can call toll free 1-888-689-8924 and purchase the NBEF endorsed full body harness. This harness is designed to be hunter friendly and exceeds industrial standards. This harness features quiet coated metal buckles south locking carabiners and a lineman's style climbing belt. Making safety your first priority is a decision you can live with. offer you the hunting advantages of elevating your human form and scent above the level of most wildlife. However, elevated stands present you with potential risks that can result in serious injury or even death. So watch, listen, and learn about the important world of tree stand safety from your friends who care at the National Bow Hunter Education Foundation and the Tree Stand Manufacturers Association. Now, here's Tim Poole, Executive Director of the National Bow Hunter Education Foundation. There are 16 million big game hunters throughout North America each year. Many of them choose to hunt from a tree stand. Here's a real scary statistic. One out of three hunters who choose to hunt from a tree stand will fall sometime during their hunting career. And if you aren't wearing a fall restraint device, you will hit the ground. Believe me, falling from a tree stand will cause serious injury or even death. The solution to prevent these tragic accidents is through good and sound tree stand safety education, but most importantly, the proper use of the safety equipment. If you really want to be a safe tree stand hunter, 
take the international bow hunter education program that is offered throughout America and 13 other foreign countries. Watch, listen, and put to use what you learn. The life you save may very well be your own. When selecting your manufactured tree staff, the NBEF recommends that for your safety, you only use equipment made and certified by members of the Tree Stand Manufacturers Association. To help ensure your safety, TMA member companies must submit their tree stands to quality testing at an independent laboratory to pass certification. Only tree stand related products that carry the TMA seal have been through this rigorous testing. But safely using a tree stand is your responsibility. Anytime you climb or use a tree stand, serious or fatal injuries can result from falling. You could fall from carelessly relying on tree branches for support, losing your balance while climbing, or you could fall asleep and fall from the tree stand. You could also fall from not using your equipment properly, selecting an unsuitable tree, or from not using your fall restraint system properly. Selecting your tree stand is one of the most important tree stand decisions you'll ever make. Understand that different tree stands and climbing devices have different applications and operating procedures. Read the tree stand literature and instructions. Watch tree stand videos such as this and talk with experienced tree stand representatives before buying. And when making your selection, carefully match your tree stand equipment to your intended hunting use. Be sure to consult your local hunting regulations to be sure which systems conform to your selected season and hunting area. Never climb or hunt from homemade wooden steps or platforms. Nails rust, wood rots, and the movement and growth of the tree will weaken the platform. Each year, hunters die from falls from homemade wooden steps and platforms that collapse. Use only TMA tested and approved manufactured tree stands. Tree stand safety begins with the complete tree stand safety system. This system typically includes a fall restraint device, a climbing device, a tree stand, and finally, your thorough knowledge about properly using your systems. Your first step in tree stand safety is to carefully read and follow all of your manufacturer's instructions, both outside and inside the box. Know and obey the specific tree stand weight capacity and functional limitations. After you're familiar with the stand's instructions, practice with each component of your tree stand safety system at ground level, using a tree in your yard or a nearby forest. Complete your ground training by actually installing and using your system, including the fall restraint device that came with your stand. Becoming completely familiar with your tree stand now is crucial to safe tree stand hunting. Many hunters enter and leave the woods during low light situations. It's a good idea to use a flashlight or other identifying light for your safety under these conditions. Now it's time to head for the woods and select the right tree. Avoid unsafe trees that are leaning, trees that are dead or dying, or trees with excessive vines or limbs. Also avoid trees that are too narrow or large that will not allow you to use your equipment properly. And don't use trees that have either icy, wet, slippery, loose, or scaly bark. Now there's a perfect looking tree. Let's join this father and son on their first tree stand hunt together.
bow hunter. A bow hunter. Yeah. You're a bow hunter. <laughs> Can't believe I got one. Well, no wonder. How old are you? Research among tree stand hunters has revealed that one in three will fall during the course of their hunting career. Falling is the greatest risk to hunters using elevated stands. In over 80% of the falls, the hunter failed to wear and use a fall restraint device. Many of these falls result in serious injury or even death. You can better these odds by following safe tree stand hunting practices. Using a fall restraint device from the moment you leave the ground to the moment you return to the ground is the single most important action you can take to prevent you from hitting the ground should you fall. The NBEF strongly recommends that the fall restraint system you choose to use is a full body harness that meets or exceeds industrial standards. Fall restraint devices come in three basic types. Single strap chest belt, chest harness, and full body harness. All must be used with a short tether line that connects your fall restraint device to the tree. Worn properly, none of the restraint designs will interfere with your hunt. Yet, they will each prevent you from hitting the ground if you fall. But they can only save you from hitting the ground if you're smart and wear one. Never use a rope, line, safety belt, or harness that is not specifically designed for fall protection use. And never wear a single belt system around your waist. When using the fall restraint system that came with your tree stand, be sure to follow your manufacturer's instructions. If you're unsure about its condition or proper use, call the manufacturer before using. If worn properly, the fall restraint device will stop you from hitting the ground and not allow you to fall below the level of your cedar platform. Chest belts and chest harnesses are commonly used for fall restraint. The NBEF acknowledges that these two types of fall restraint systems may currently be provided with many tree stands and therefore offers the following recommendations. These chest fall restraint systems are not the preferred NBEF fall restraint, but if used properly, they may prevent you from falling below the level of your seat or platform. If the user chooses to use the chest belt type of fall restraint device, it must be worn snugly around the chest, just under the armpits, not around your waist. The chest harness type buckles at the front of your chest and straps go over your shoulders. The tether line for each must be attached to the tree at or above head level and be adjusted so there's no slack in the tether line when the hunter is seated in the stand. You must become familiar with the physical stress and physical limitations associated with hanging from these models of fall restraint before using them in the field. The stress and pressures associated with both types is similar and significant. Make certain that you test the chest belt and chest harness at home, at ground level. With an able-bodied adult standing by, attach the tether at head height and gently flex your knees in order to feel the restrictions and stresses associated with hanging from these types of fall restraint systems. If you consider the stress excessive, we recommend that you purchase and use a full body harness. Although these devices are designed to keep you from hitting the ground, the physical stress on the upper body associated with hanging suspended from a properly worn chest belt or chest harness may restrict arm movement, interfere with breathing, and can lead to unconsciousness in a matter of minutes, followed by death. If you fall while wearing a chest-type fall restraint device, it is critically important that you climb back onto your stand or climbing system immediately to relieve the stress and pressure. When worn improperly around the waist, the chest belt can be deadly. A fall while wearing a belt around the waist may cause the hunter to turn upside down may cause damage to internal organs and interrupt your ability to breathe. This can lead to unconsciousness in less than a minute, quickly followed by death. Never wear a single strap chest belt around your waist. A full body harness that meets industrial standards provides you the maximum amount of protection in a fall restraint system.
When worn properly, it allows your weight to be supported in an upright position by your legs and buttocks and does not significantly restrict breathing or arm movement. It is critical that the connecting tether be attached so there is no slack when the hunter is in the sitting position. Although a full body harness affords the best protection against injury associated with falling, the physical stress of hanging even from a full body harness can lead to unconsciousness in as little as 15 minutes. If you fall, climb immediately back onto the stand or climbing device. Before using a full body harness in the field, conduct the following test with an able-bodied adult standing by. Attach the tether at head level while standing on the ground and flex your knees to feel the pressures associated with hanging from a full body harness. The full body harness is recommended by the NBEF because it offers the user the least amount of stress and because it provides the user the maximum opportunity to safely climb back onto the stand platform or climbing system should you fall. If you do fall, the three types of fall restraint devices, when properly worn, are designed to prevent you from hitting the ground. Each is designed to provide you the opportunity to return to your climbing system or tree stand. When installed and used properly, you should not fall below the seat level of your stand. It's your responsibility to follow the manufacturer's instructions and to use the stand and fall restraint device correctly to prevent being seriously injured or dying. We had an engineer do the math so you can understand the importance of having absolutely no slack in the tether line. Remember, the tether line must be attached to the tree at or above head level. If a 200 pound person falls with just three feet of slack in the tether line, the force the body absorbs when hitting the end of the tether line is 1,700 pounds. This is enough force to break ribs and cause serious or fatal internal injuries. Research reveals that most falls occur while either setting up or taking down a tree stand, or while the hunter is getting into or out of the stand. You can eliminate this risk by wearing and attaching your fall restraint device from the moment you leave the ground until you return to the ground. If you're wearing your fall restraint system properly, you'll be able to concentrate on making the shot when it counts. Now, let's review your climbing system. For your safety, the National Bowhunter Education Foundation recommends that you only use TMA certified climbing devices. If you choose to use screw-in steps, use them with extra caution. Never use nailed or wooden steps or household step ladders. And whatever climbing system you choose to use, always wear a fall restraint device that allows you to tether yourself to the tree as you climb. Although screw-in tree steps are popular in some areas, they present some serious potential hazards that can be avoided. Install the steps with a uniform step span of about 12 to 15 inches apart. Longer spans can cause the step to rotate away from your foot, jeopardizing your balance. Secondly, screw-in step threads grip the wood of some trees better than others. Thick bark trees are especially dangerous because the bark may prevent the screw-in threads from solidly gripping the heartwood. Thirdly, the design of most screw-in steps creates a levering action when you climb. 
If the step is not screwed in completely, the leverage pressure may pull the threads out of the tree. Never install a screw-in step into an old or pre-existing hole. Although it may screw in easily, the step may pull out. Finally, place the screw-in tree steps to each side of the tree in relation to your climbing path, so that if you do slip, you reduce the risk of injuring or impaling yourself on a step. Strap-on steps are an alternative to screw-in steps. These also must be used with caution. The strapping can shift or loosen with use. Be sure the cord or strap is extremely secure to reduce the risk of having the step rotate away from your hand or foot. Use strap-on steps with caution. Safer alternatives to individual screw-in or strap-on steps are ladder climbing systems. These ladders can be taken to the woods as segments, then assembled into single ladders. They may also be segmented systems using several individual step segments attached to the tree. When using single or segmented ladder systems, secure all ladder straps or ropes to the tree that you can safely reach from the ground. Be sure your ladder is secured to the main trunk of a healthy tree and avoid interference from branches or vines. When climbing to secure the upper straps or segments, always wear your fall restraint system with the recommended lineman style hookup. This allows you to use both hands to securely attach your climbing system. Your lineman style belt should slide to allow you to easily move as you climb or descend the tree. And if you should fall, the lineman's belt will grip the tree, holding you in place or slowing your descent. Never disconnect your lineman's belt while climbing. This hunter chose the smarter option of a ladder system. And it looks as if he also chose the right spot. There's a buck on the right. One ladder type tree stand presents another hunting option, but must always be erected using three persons. When used and installed properly, they are no more or less dangerous than correctly using a household step ladder. However, using this type of stand presents a significant risk because there's no reasonable means to be attached to the tree while ascending and descending the ladder. First, the erected ladder must be secured by the stabilizing brace and cross straps prior to anyone climbing up the ladder. Next, two persons must hold and support the ladder against the tree while the third person carefully climbs to the top. The climber must immediately attach their fall restraint system to the tree and then secure the platform. The vast majority of accidents involving ladder stands occur while putting up and taking down this type of tree stand. And finally, always properly use your fall restraint system while in your ladder stand. Climbing tree stands offer a popular option because they don't require a separate climbing system. It is essential you follow manufacturer's instructions and practice climbing and descending with this type of stand until you become familiar with the mechanics of using your tree stand and fall restraint to inchworm up and down the tree. Climbing tree stands are best suited for straight, healthy trees free of branches and loose bark. 
Also, be sure to connect both the upper and lower sections of your climbing stand with a lanyard or strap. This should prevent the lower section from dropping down beyond your immediate control. It's important to position most climbing stand platforms with the outer edge slightly above horizontal before you begin your climb. This compensates for the narrowing of the tree trunk as you ascend. As always, wear and use your fall restraint system when ascending or descending. Simply slide the tether line connecting the belt up or down the tree as you move. This only adds seconds to the climbing process. Hang on tree stands offer you another option and are popular in many areas. These stands require that you use a separate climbing system such as segmented ladders or steps. When attaching your hang-on stand, follow your manufacturer's instructions and wear your fall restraint device. This is where a lineman's tight belt is mandatory and makes movement easier. It allows you to use both hands to properly hang your stand and greatly reduces fatigue. Beware that a large percentage of tree stand related falls occur when hanging or removing hang-on type stands. Hang-on tree stands have a variety of attachment methods, such as chains, nylon belts, cables, or ratchet straps. Also, most hang-on tree stands require that you firmly seat the tree stand solidly in place with downward pressure, a pull-down cam action, or a locking screw. Consult the directions that came with your stand. When attaching your hang-on stand, Make sure to hang it so that you can step down from your climbing system onto the center of the stand. It's vitally important that you don't leave your tree stand or climbing system attached to a tree for more than two weeks. Trees grow and increase in circumference. Attachment systems are put under a heavy tension load when attached to the tree. If left on the tree for a long period of time, the tree will grow in circumference and may cause the belts, chains, or buckles to be stressed beyond tolerances. The attachment system may fail when you add your weight to the tree stand or climbing system, resulting in a fall. It's also important to inspect your tree stand system before you go hunting and regularly throughout the season. Make sure that all components of your fall restraint system are in good working condition. If you are uncertain about the condition of any element of your tree stand or fall restraint system, call the manufacturer. Hunt with the rest of your life in mind, like this hunter. Now we're ready to climb up to that tree stand. But first, you must always wear and properly use your fall restraint device from the moment you touch your tree to the moment you leave it. Remember to use a fall restraint system with a lineman's belt that allows you to climb while tethered to the tree. Once your hang-on type tree stand is installed, attach a commercially produced mountaineer type safety rope complete with Prusik knot and loop to the tree at head level above the stand and secure the other end at ground level. Be sure to properly attach your fall restraint device to the climbing safety rope before leaving the ground. Attach your tether line to the movable Prusik knot and slide it up or down the rope with you as you move. This movable knot allows you to be securely attached to the rope while you ascend and descend your climbing system and when you enter and leave your stand. This unique knot slides when not under a load and binds when a load is applied. Slide the Prusik knot up the mountaineering rope with you. 
Should you fall while climbing, the knot will bind and arrest your fall. Let's now review the correct procedure for getting into your tree stand. When climbing, use smooth, non-jerky movements. Use the three-point contact climbing method where you always maintain two hands and one foot or two feet and one hand in constant contact with your climbing system. Never use tree branches as a foot or handhold when climbing. This is one of the deadliest mistakes you can make when climbing. Even if the branch appears solid, don't touch it, not even for balance. When entering a hang-on type tree stand, first climb slightly above the tree stand and while securely tethered to the tree with your fall restraint system, transfer from your climbing system to the stand platform by stepping down from your climbing system onto the center of your stand. When you are positioned in your tree stand, adjust and secure the length of the tether line of your fall restraint system so there is no slack when you're in the sitting position. For safety's sake, always remain in the relative center of your stand platform. Never lean out using your fall restraint system for balance in an attempt to trim branches or to get a possible shot. This may cause you to fall or cause the stand to shift. Also, never attempt to stand on top of your tree stand seat or use it for support when climbing. Here's the safe way to pull up your gear. Bows, guns, heavy packs or other gear should be pulled up or lowered on the opposite side of the tree from your climbing system. This will reduce the risk of striking your equipment if you fall when climbing and the equipment from striking the climbing system. When pulling up your bow, make sure the arrow quiver hood is pointed up. When lowering your bow, make sure the quiver hood is pointed down and lowered to the opposite side of the tree from your climbing system. When you're pulling up and lowering your firearm, make doubly sure it's unloaded, actions open, muzzle loaders uncapped. Never tie the rope in or near the trigger guard. Tie the pull-up rope in such a fashion that the muzzle points level or downward. If your gun is uncased, cover the muzzle to keep it free of dirt, water, or snow. Watch how safe tree stand hunting helps this young hunter on his first whitetail hunt. Here comes the air. All your scouting and tree stand tactics have finally paid off and you've just taken a big game animal from your tree stand. You can get excited later, but now is the time to remain collected in your thoughts and actions as you prepare to safely descend from your tree stand. First, unload your gun or bow and lower it on the opposite side of the tree from your climbing system. Arrow quivers and firearm muzzles should be pointed in a safe downward direction. Next, readjust your fall restraint system to allow you to climb down while tethered to the tree or your mountaineering safety rope. Carefully step from the center of your stand to your climbing system. Slowly and carefully descend using the same safety principles as climbing. Once your feet are on the ground, unhook your fall restraint system. Your friends at the National Bowhunter Education Foundation and Tree Stand Manufacturers Association want all of your hunts to be filled with success and fond memories. So follow these extra tips for a safe and rewarding tree stand experience. Before you go hunting, 
practice shooting your bow or gun while wearing your fall restraint system from an elevated stand. Many fatal hunting accidents happen during low light conditions. So always use a flashlight when entering or leaving the woods in low light conditions to clearly identify you as a human. Also, carry basic survival items with you, such as an emergency whistle, a cell phone, or two-way radio. Carry them on your person and not in an inaccessible pack. Make sure other responsible people know where you're hunting and when to begin looking for you if you fail to return on time. Hunt with a buddy and hunt with a plan that involves checking on one another. Be aware of the location of other hunters for safety and to be courteous afield. Never place a tree stand or climbing device on power or telephone poles or near electric transmission lines. Avoid using tree stands during high winds, rain, snow, icy conditions or electrical storms or anytime weather conditions are unsafe. Never attempt to use a tree stand or climbing system when under the influence of medications, drugs or alcohol, including over-the-counter medications that may cause drowsiness. Don't hunt from a tree stand when sleepy. If you fall, try not to panic. If you're properly wearing your fall restraint system and the tether line is snug, you should be able to get back onto the stand or climbing device. If you weren't wearing a fall restraint, you just hit the ground. Don't move without first testing your reflexes or assessing for any possible injuries. Quickly signal for help with your cell phone, two-way radio, or your whistle. Always seek professional medical attention immediately after a fall. Don't let false pride jeopardize your life. Internal injuries are common among fall victims and may not always be apparent at the time of the fall. We've shared a lot of information with you and shown you techniques of how to be a safe user of elevated stands and climbing devices. It's now your responsibility to put that information into practice. Don't be a statistic of one out of three hunters falling out of a stand. It is your responsibility to enjoy yourself, to be safe, and have a great hunting experience. Hope to see you in the field. Contact your local hunter and bow hunter education instructors to find out how you can learn more about safe and responsible hunting practices. For more information on how you can become certified by taking the International Bow Hunter Education Program, or learn which tree stand manufacturers are TMA certified, call the National Bowhunter Education Foundation at 406-266-3237 or visit their website, www.nbef.org. And finally, share this video and the lessons you've learned with your hunting friends.